Mother, calm down. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I was so frightened when I heard the news bulletin about the prom boat. I should have known that Ethan wouldn't let any harm come to you. But Ethan, I'm your fiance. I'm the one you love. Ethan, don't leave me. Gwen, I can't let Teresa drown. Oh, it's, it's lucky for me I'm a good swimmer. Otherwise, when, when Ethan left me to go to Teresa, I... What? Oh my god, you could have drowned. Would you calm down, Mother? All right, this is not the time to confront Ethan about Teresa. He's too worried about Ivy right now. I suppose you're right. He needs your support now. But I'm going to go have a little talk with the housekeeper's daughter. Teresa! Rebecca Hotchkiss, Gwen's mother, I'd like a word with you. I understand you've taken a special interest in my daughter's wedding. Yes. Gwen asked me to help her. Because she had to be out of town. But now that she's back, your services are no longer required. But I'm in the middle of all the, the arrangements. Well, Gwen is more than capable of picking up where you left off. Frankly, my dear, I think you've done quite enough already. I don't understand. Oh, but you know, I think you do. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt just once and assume that your overly enthusiastic work habits have something to do with your hopes for a career in fashion. I mean, that is why you took employment with the Cranes, is it not? Yes, it's true. The fashion industry has always been my dream. Well, then I suggest that you do nothing to jeopardize it. After all, a housekeeper's daughter should never reach higher than her grasp. And you know, I've heard you're quite bright, so I think you'll appreciate the import of what I'm saying.